Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. <coughs> We're talking about uh, coupling dynamics, and the topic for this video is evolution and expansion. Another core quality that you want to anchor in uh, your relationship is the idea that you have to keep on evolving as a couple and as individuals within that couple. If your evolution gets stacked, if you stop evolving, what's going to feel is a feeling it's going to create a feeling of stagnancy. It means that you are going to be there, feel stacked and non-evolving in the context of your relationship. So what you want to do is to have this inner engine, this inner movement of energy that invites you to keep on evolving and to keep on expanding as a couple and as individuals. What this means as well in the choice that you make or in the way you communicate with your lover or partner is that you consciously encourage their evolution. Instead of blocking them when they come with new ideas and things they want to try or things they want to do, a new business, new product, something they want to launch. Oh, let's go on again on holidays. Let's have time. Let's practice that. Let's try this. Let's uh, have a new recipe or something. Let's change the kitchen. Let's change. Let's get rid of some furniture. You know, this is part of the evolution. This is part of what, what you want to bring into uh, your relationship or your coupling experience. So if you systematically block evolution, every time your partner comes with an idea, you are going to be like, oh, yes, no, that's not going to work. You know, we don't have time for that. We don't have money for that. We, I don't have the desire. I'm tired. I don't want to try. It's boring. You know, whatever is like disqualifying the new ideas that come into your field. It's going to get really frustrating because you need as a human being to keep on evolving. And if the, the context of your relationship doesn't give you the space to keep on evolving, you are going to at some point step out of the relationship so that you can keep on evolving. Or you're going to stay within the context of a relationship and get extremely frustrated, get bitter, get angry, get, get triggered all the time because you feel like something is not being, being fulfilled in your field. So this idea of evolution and expansion is something that you can cultivate within the context of a relationship. When the idea of doing something new, something fun comes, then you invest yourself into it and say, yeah, I don't know where we are going, but let's try it. You know, yeah, let's try because it's fun, it's new. It brings something refreshing into the field instead of being in this space that feels, um, you know, asphyxiated and, and fixed. There is, you know, the tendency or the possibility to asphyxiate your relationship or to just create this, this field that is so rigid and non-evolving um, is, is a high risk for many couples. And so what you want is really to keep on moving forward with new ideas, bringing in, you know, heartstorming, brainstorming, uh, having some discussions with your partner about the places where you can expand. And when you as an individual, you have an idea, dare to present it to your partner and dare to, to, to confront them if they are blocking your, your ideas. So this is the idea of uh, evolution and expansion for your couple. A very core quality to embody.